hi guys i hope everyone is doing fine my name is nancy welcome back to my channel so in today's story i would like to show you how to make a circle dress with a beach up collar this dress can be either long or short depending on the amount of fabric you are using i'll be making use of three yards because i want it to be a short dress but if you want it to be a maxi dress you can use five and a half yard so the first step is to fold the fabric into two equally After folding into two equally, the next step is to fold the fabric in form of a triangle. So this is practically folded into four. After folding, this is how the fabric should be. But since it's a circle dress, you need to adjust the fabric in form of a triangle as shown. The next measurement to take is the shoulder measurement. You divide the shoulder measurement by 2. The shoulder for this client is 14 inches. You divide by 2, that will be 7 inches. So I will add half an inch seam allowance to 7 inches and that will be 7.5 inches. Now I will move the tape down to really line of 7.5 inches. The next measurement to take is the neck width. Since the fabric is folded into four, we'll be having two panels, meaning we'll have two neck depths for the front and the back panel. Let's get started. For a small size person, I'll be taking a width of three inches, but for a big size person, four inches is better. Now, the neck depth I'll be using for the back panel is one inch. Why the neck depth for the front panel is three inches? But for a plus size person, you can use 4 inches as a neck depth. The next step is to slant the shoulder line by getting the shoulder slope. So to do this, at this end, we'll go down by 1 inch. Then you connect the points to the neck width. The next step is to get the armhole curve. To do this, you divide the round armhole by 2 inches. So at the edge of the shoulder, you place the tape straight, then you divide the ham o measurements by 2 inches. The ham o for this client is 14 inches. If you divide by 2, that's 7 inches. Then you add 1 inch to it. So you mark 8 inches. Now you extend that point to the shoulder slope. Why this horizontal line will serve as the bust line? The next step is to get the midpoint of the arm hole line, which you then connect in form of a curve. Now on the bust line, I'll divide the bust circumference by 4. The bust circumference is 34 inches. If I divide by 4, I have 8.5 inches, which I'll mark. Then I'll add 2 inches seam allowance. And that will be 10 and a half inches altogether. So from this 10 and a half inches wideness, I'll rule a straight line all the way down. The next step is to mark the length of the gown. So I'll place the tape on the shoulder line to mark the length of the gown. The length of the gown is 36 inches with the allowance included. So I'll be marking 36 inches all through. The next step is to cut out the panels. So we'll start by trimming out the neck depth for the back panel first.
Now to trim out the neck depth for the front panel, you need to separate both panels. Since this is a no zipper dress, you need to open a neck slit of about 3 to 4 inches. The sense of the slit is for you to wear the dress freely, passing through your head without struggling. Next step is to cut a facing to turn the neck slit. Now I'll fold a small piece into two, then I'll place the front panel to trim out the neck slit as shown. For the facing to have a shape, you measure two inches after the slit, then you mark two inches at the side, then you connect the points together. Now I'll place the facing on the right side of the front panel as shown. Then I'll sew the V shape by quarter of an inch. After attaching the facing to the front panel, I also weaved the side and top stitched. The reason I top stitched the facing is to avoid the facing from showing at the sides. Now the next step is to place the back panel on the front panel to attach the shoulders together by quarter of an inch. Now the next step is to use an overlocking machine to weave the ham o, or you should use a bias. But I used an overlocking machine so I'll take this to the sewing machine to sew by quarter of an inch all through the ham o. After securing the ammo curve, the next step is to sew the side of the dress by 1 inch. Now the next step is to use a hemming gum to glue the neck slit facing. Now I'll take the dress to a straight sewing machine to secure the aim by folding half an inch and folding it further in by half an inch all through. Now the next step is to take the measurements of the neck by placing the tip on the neckline as shown. So what I have here is 17 inches. The width of the collar is 5 inches, which will be folded into 2, and that will be 2.5 inches. Then you further fold it into 2 as shown. Since this fabric is folded into 2, you divide the neck width by 2 inches. The neck width is 17 inches, and if you divide by 2, you have 8.5 inches. Then you add half inch for the seam allowance, and that will be 9 inches. Now I will mark the midpoints of these 9 inches. Then I'll mark half inch at the edge, which will be connected to the midpoint. The next step is to glue a gum stay on one panel. The next step is to place one panel on the other, then you start sewing by giving in half inch space at one edge, then you sew to the other end by giving in half inch space. So the half inch space you left is what you will use in attaching the collar to the neck of the dress. The next step is to fold the collar into two to notch the center of the collar. Then you also fold the neckline into two to notch the center. Now I will attach the collar to the neck 
by placing the notch part on each other. After sewing, this is how it should be. Finally, the next step is to fold the collar into two, then you secure it on the right side by a quarter of an inch. Alright guys, this is a very simple dress. It doesn't take more than 10 minutes. I must have taken longer than that because I was explaining. Please, you should give it a try. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Nancy. Please subscribe, share and like my videos. Thank you.